if you will. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, the Army needs air assets to perform close air support or interdiction missions uh, in a supporting role to them. And, uh, and in that realistic environment, we're able to integrate air assets into that and provide a very realistic simulated combat training environment that most people will not be able to get anywhere else in the world. I think Air Warrior's been going very well from our side of it. Uh, the Americans have got a lot to uh, sort out in their own spheres, but uh, on our side we're doing very well. Uh, for myself, uh, this is a whole new environment to fly in. Uh, never, never experienced 45 degrees centigrade anywhere, uh, let alone flown in it, uh, or flown close air support with uh, 130 tanks on the ground as well. So for me, it's a whole new experience, very worthwhile. From one extreme to another, 41 Fighter Squadron was next to head off to the Arctic regions to deploy to Norway. 41 Fighter Squadron have maintained a forward operating base in North Norway on the 69th parallel, just north of Narvik for many years. Bardafoss, 60 miles north of Narvik. It is December, and at midday, the temperature is just getting up to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Come nightfall, it will plunge to minus 30. The support elements take no time to offload and set up in their new environment. Norway's cold climate improves the moderate engine thrust of the Jaguar and provides outstanding areas in which to fly. To operate safely, the pilots require regular exposure to the seam of any potential Arctic pitfalls, such as whiteout and wire strikes. You can fly for up to 10 minutes without seeing any appreciable habitation in this landscape, and with Arctic camouflage, the aircraft blends into the background. The exercise allows us to carry out some live firing training on the range at Setemuen, where the squadron can drop live 1,000-pound bombs and fire CRV-7 rockets. The squadron flies regularly from snow and ice-covered surfaces, which often makes the landing more interesting and challenging than normal. For the reconnaissance world, the brief is quite simple. Supply the front-line army commanders with the best intelligence. That means speed and accuracy in getting it, processing it, and interpreting it. They are probably among the fastest photographers in the world, but getting the shots is only the first move in this fast game. The next move is to get the film to the rick as quickly as possible. The atros are linked together to form two sections, the film processing section and the photographic interpretation section. Following a recce sortie, the pilot works closely with the PIs to get the maximum possible intelligence from the films. With the primary sensor being an infrared camera, no amount of camouflage netting can hide the heated engine surfaces of armor and vehicles from the eye of the photographic interpreter. The squadron's role in peacetime is to ensure that it is prepared. It undertakes to provide the most realistic training to cope with any event, able to go with the aircraft and all the necessary support at a moment's notice in a matter of hours day or night. We will be back here again to carry out a regular commitment within the Arctic Circle. The Norwegians always welcomed us and are a friendly people. Meanwhile, 41 Fighter Squadron returns to Coltishall to continue with its training and the achievement of the target number of sorties for the year. The social scene on 41 Fighter Squadron is excellent and plays an important part in fostering squadron spirit. We have dining in nights at Coltishall and abroad, we have had functions in places as diverse as Las Vegas, downtown Valencia, and in a tent in northern Norway at minus 30 degrees Celsius. In the last year, we have deployed in a variety of ways and have continued with a mix of operational and training commitments. It has been a very busy but productive year despite the fact that 41 Fighter Squadron and the Jagger Force has been stood down from active operations for an 18-month sanctuary period. For the future, there will be more of the same. We are planning to deploy up to RAF Leeming in preparation for Exercise Cope Thunder, a joint exercise in Alaska. Yet we still find the time to say cheerio to the people that have been an integral part of the squadron. 
41 Fighter Squadron is a squadron with fighters, families, fun and the future in mind. Morale will always be high in a unique squadron that has opportunity to prove its capability in the tactical reconnaissance and attack role in a variety of locations. The squadron remains true to the spirit of its motto, Seek and Destroy.